Our adventurers, in search for the gray stone within the crystal labyrinth, found themselves dispensing a gelatinous cube and recovering a green key. Then they traversed deeper into the crystal labyrinth and into the clutches of a skeleton minotaur. After shattering his hopes, they took out a goblin repairing some barrels and then witnessed some floating brains with beaks and tentacles attacking a wandering group of adventurers. Will our party survive the dangers within Stardock? uncover a crystal of creation, or set up an Airbnb for re short rests within Stardock. Only time will tell. What we have is Throv got transported and replaced by Venus. Throv found himself in front of this chest, closed, and as he opens it back up to see what was inside, he also gets teleported back into Stardock. He sees his fellow compatriots, but is trying to catch up with them and is slowly waking his way through the labyrinth and is catching up to his, his adventurers. Vanus, you have, yes. you have Karnith, and you have Og, which is, they were right behind you as you saw these tentacle-like brains descend down on the group, a group of adventurers. They picked up one of the men and he drops his torch on the ground and all you see is this body go up into the darkness of the ceiling. And then all of a sudden blood just drains down and just pours on the ground and a body falls right on the torch and the light just is out. And as you turn around and you look behind you, Og and Karnath are no longer there. Oh, great. And you're by yourself. What are you doing? I'm going to hide. All right, give me a stealth check. All right, still famine now, baby. Ooh, not 20, but plus 10, but oh 30. Gosh. You are like the knight, and you hide close to this wall, back against this wall, and down, and, and you are as hidden as you could be. I'm going to hug the wall as close as I can and try and make my way towards that X. So you can go one, two, three. Okay? And, okay. And the, there's a wall to your north and a south of you. Okay, if, so it's if, still going. Yes. If you go seven, now there's a wall that go. There's no wall to your north. There's no wall to your south, or east or west. Okay, I'm gonna go south. Okay, hold on one second. So let's go here. You're gonna go south. You can go south one, and now there's a wall to your east and west, open to your their north and south. Okay, I'm gonna go south again okay now there's a it's a dead end there's a wall to your south east and west okay south east and west and while i'm in this little um outcropping here this uh is there anything i can feel around for or see that's unusual or out of place you can give me a perception uh seven um you see a shadowy figure two squares up and three squares to the east. Was that where I was coming from? Yep, where you're coming from. Okay, I'm going to go back up two squares. Yep. And then go west. Throv, you have been following Og and Karnith, and you are where he's at. You are the figure that he saw moving towards him. You are three squares to the east of where he is at right now. He is totally hidden. You do not see him. But 
Give me a perception, and I want to see if you saw the creatures. So, uh, nineteen. Okay. Yes, you definitely saw what I did. You hear what I described earlier? Yes. Yeah, you saw that as well. Now you were following Odd and Carnith, but you also saw that a bright light happened, and they just totally disappeared. Boom, and gone. And then you did notice that there was another character or person that was with them that you didn't know who, but that person also is not there anymore. But I, I just saw him vanish afterwards. Exactly. Or actually, you, with that, he saw they were gone and noticed that, so you don't know. You just, hmm. all three of them were just gone. Well, this is a... Uh very dark uh, uh all right i will um send my uh i'm just going to summon my echo okay and like put my echo like 15 feet in front of me i'm just gonna and i'm gonna walk with my echo just so my echo can trigger any traps i think you can control that too as well okay yeah so, so, uh, Vanus, you see this, describe what you, what he sees, what happened, and describe your character to him, I don't think he knows your character. Alright, um, you see this, uh, lizard folk, um, dark grayish skin, red frill on his head, uh, wearing a long, uh, gray cloak, doesn't seem to be wearing armor. Um, is wielding a double sim uh, bladed scimitar in his left hand, and in his right hand you see a, uh, a not a real uh, a fake arm, a prosthetic arm, and his wrists turn 360 degrees at about 15 feet in front of him. A uh, slight, it's not glowing, but is a uh, ghostly, slightly transparent blue version of uh, the lizard folk appears. Okay. Uh, that's, yeah, that's and, see. and what are you going to react to that? He is pretty close. He's about the lizard folk is most like five feet from him, five to ten. Actually, Something. these are ten, ten feet. I'm just gonna try and stab the echo. Okay, roll to attack. That's seventeen. Seventeen, I believe, just hits. Okay, and it just has one hit point, right? Yeah, it's immediately yeah, gone. It, it's you. You stab and it goes right through it, and it just immediately disappears. Are you? Vanis, let that roll. Are you carrying a, a torch? Anybody? You, I know Vanis, you're stealth, so it's hard for you to see. Um, how about um, Throv? Um, I remember Throv giving oh, uh, the uh, the other two a torch, so he hasn't been really wielding a torch. Yeah, so you've been just like using your hands against the wall yeah yeah, yeah. okay so what what are you gonna do here uh vanis you it just disappeared in it okay let's see what i got can i um, see um the actual throb can i see him from where i'm standing why don't you give me a that line perception Okay. And Throff, what are you going to do here? Because you just saw movement. He's no uh, longer stuck. Three. <laughs> three. Uh, yeah. Hmm, yeah, I don't think that sees me. Yeah, it does, doesn't see you. But what what are you going to do? You're, you see that it's hard for you to see, but what you did see is that something ahead of you just attacked your Echo, and it's no longer there. Um, Throveth, uh will look for whatever attacked his um his uh echo because okay. uh you can this might a, be one of his you can give me a perception ooh a six you guys are not doing well so <laughs> it's really dark and you know there's Yo, dark right. vision who needs that exactly so you it's don't for see so what you do here is some screams are coming from that area that you 
her solid tentacles. Hey, I'm I'm uh, I'm f- I'm friendly. And uh, Throvith will uh, back up like no ten feet. Where's the whale? <laughs> I don't know. He was over here just a moment ago. Who are you? Uh, man, Ace, who are you? I'm a Throvith. I was traveling with the whale. What about the dwarf? Him too. The whale is more noticeable though. How the fuck do we get out of here? Um, I don't know, but if we find an item, we have people that'll pick us up and get us out of here. But we need to find it first. Okay. Uh, do you think those brain things have it? Uh, the brain things? Yeah, those things that just ate those guys. That... They probably have something to do with it, yes? Okay, I'll follow you. How about that? Alright, um... By the way, slight side note, what, uh, class is Kamul? Is Kamul... Uh, I'm a rogue, rogue, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I'm a fighter. (laughs) So (laughs) it's gonna go swimmingly. It's gonna go great. (laughs) If only you had a cleric. If only, right? Ashley. You have been traveling in Undermountain with a group of adventurers. You have stumbled upon a room filled with four of these brain-like creatures with tentacles that descended from the ceiling. Attached to one of these, you've noticed, was a key. It was a yellow key. And it grabbed one of your partners and reached, grabbed him up into the ceiling and just blood came down and just made total darkness. You backed away as much as you could with your back against the wall and you believe that your other partner, a, a fighter, has perished as well. And you're just sitting there in this room, very quiet as trying to figure out what to do next. All right, well, I think I probably want to attack one of those, so, uh... Okay. And I'm under Chelsea Wind Branch now, correct? Yes, correct. Gotcha, okay. All right, so I'm going to go for the one with the key. Yeah, these, so what happens is the ceiling is 20 feet up. Your torch light can't get to the ceiling. It can, it's for, light is very strange around here. It can only go for about 10 feet and then it kind of really dissipates. So as you, and you, your, your torches are all out. So it is dark. I believe you're a human, so you can't see anything. You can hear like, boom, go ahead. But what you can do is as a light cleric, cast light and basically get a free torch on any object. There you go. Oh, okay. I also have a light crossbow. Does that is that just mean like weight light, not that light means light. weight light? Gotcha. That it. It'd be cool if you had a light but crossbow, that would be but cool. or you can right cast now. light on it, and it'll be a light light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty smart, actually. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> I like that. But there's a fireball, I guess. A wall of fire. <laughs> Yeah, hmm, <laughs> not so sure those should be used to, used to lit up a room. Mm. These torches and you got fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like using a stick of dynamite to light up a room. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I like the light cross, the light light crossbow idea. Can I just light that and look around? Sh- certainly. So. You're you're gonna light the crossbow, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna light the light crossbow. Okay. So this is what you see, Ashley. I am gonna bring you to this room right here. So, okay. Yeah, that's that's you. So you're hiding in within these barrels here, and as this light source lights up, these grell that are up on the ceiling, 20 feet up. They look at you, and we're going to roll for initiative here. 
So. Okay. I roll. Yeah, sorry, I got off my sheep. Got a problem. A 19. Okay, guys. What you see as she opens her character sheet is <laughs> this light emerges from this room and you see this woman standing there with a light crossbow, bright light around her, and she's looking up towards the ceiling up above her. You don't you don't see what she sees, but that's what she sees. That's what you guys see. So while she's gonna roll for initiative, what are you guys gonna do here? And you guys can roll for initiative as well. Oh, did my nut send? I got a three. Yeah, natural one for three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we got... I got a twelve. Okay. I got a twenty-three. Whoa. Okay. So. Oh. So we've it's got. It's like a dex class or something. Yeah. <laughs> So we got Throb. <laughs> Making me look bad. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Vanus and then Chelsea. So okay. where is this in relation to us again? You see the X on your map? Ah. That's, where, got that's where she's at. Okay. So Throb, you're you're up. What do you want to do here? Well, uh, seeing that... Uh, Hey, it's another person, and they're probably not evil. <laughs> they're, they look like they're not a mind flare, so that's good enough for me. Okay. Um, I will, uh, this is gonna be fun. I will, uh, 10, 20, 30, and then dash, uh, 40, 50, 60. How many Can squares? I go here? Give, give me squares. How many squares are you going? Uh, that is uh, six squares because I dashed. So let me see where you're at because you are in a different location. From I'm. He's one square I'm in right front of me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm right. Uh, square, square to the west of him. Yeah. Okay. So you are one square ahead. So that. So you have a wall to your south and no wall to your north. Okay. And um. Hmm. What about to his west? No wall to the east or west. Just a wall to oh. your south. So this is gonna be weird because I can't believe I, I don't believe I can uh, go any faster. But what I can do is I will um, summon my echo. Got it. Three squares to the left of me? Question yep. mark. Yep. So. No, I cannot. I have to summon it uh, two squares. Okay. Two squares to the left of me. I'll summon my echo. Okay. So. You summit two squares to the left, and there's an opening to the south. And I will now move you to this map as well. Boom. All right. So that is where this is at right here. So now it's the Grell's turn. <laughs> and they are going to head over to you. Let's see how far distance this is to you. Oh, yeah. That's plenty of spots. So, Ashley, these tentacle brain with beaks, one of them is munching on one of the dead people, but two of them are coming at you, and they're, they can make it right at you, and they're, they get two attacks, and one is for their uh, beaks, all right, one is for the tentacles, so let's do that one plus, this is going to be a plus four to this roll, and... That is a seven. So comes in with his tentacle. You dodge out of the way. It hits a couple of the barrels. And now it's going to come in with its beak. Plus four here. And that is a 14. Is that hit? What's your... 14 misses. Okay. Her armor class is, I believe, 18. Okay. It is, yep. Yep, so you are blocking this grell as it comes at you with a tentacle. Now, again, there's two of them. So here is the tentacles. That's a nine, a miss, and... Oh, I'm rolling shit. Okay. So, so, <laughs> these, these, things are so these things are on you fast, and but you're doing all you can to block them. And that's their turn. Vanis, you're up. What are you doing? Um... So I'm going to try and get to the 
Heck, as fast as I can. Yep. Difficult terrain through, um... Uh, no, because no. that's a ten-foot hallway. Yeah. You could just you, easily move past me. Yeah, ten-foot, so you can move easily around. Especially since you're halfling. So, you can go one, two, three, right where he's at, and I will move you as well. So you made it, th- what, 30 feet, and do you have any movement after your 30 feet? Uh, no, but I can bonus action dash as a rogue. Yep. So you can have, you, you can do that as well, so. Okay. Um. You should be able to get just within 30 feet. All right. Ashley or Chelsea, what are you doing? Um, well, I'm going to attack one of the, um, their tentacles. Okay. Yep. And how, what are you going to use to attack here? Uh, you have a lot of spells. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's very true. Maybe Scorching Ray or something? Um, so... If you cast Burning Hands, because it's a cone, you can hit both of them. Gotcha. They, they both make DC 15 dex Okay, saves. so I'll, I'll do that then. Okay, roll to attack. So just uh, uh, click on uh, Burning Hands on your okay. uh, attack sheet. So level... Uh, level one. Hmm. One, okay. And Ooh. can uh, both of them make dex save? You got it. We'll do deck save two, one, and two. We have a 13 and a two. So one fails, and what was my DC that I had to get? 15. 15. So it does have a dex of a 14. So it just succeeds. Yep, just succeeds. Okay, so one success, one fail. What happens on a fail? Uh, on a fail, they take 11 fire damage. On a success, they take uh, 5 fire damage. Yep. Alright, so... Okay, so describe how that happened. What happened, Ashley? Describe what your character just did. They were coming at me with tentacles, so I cast a Burning Hand spell and um, hit one of them and the other one was deflected? Yep. But, like, it came out of your hands and just, like, this screeching as this fire descends onto them and the bright light makes them, like, shrivel back as this fire just, like, engulfs two of them. Okay? So, that would be back to the top. Throv, you're up. What are you doing? Okay, um, so this Throv is going to go... I forget how you... There's a way to measure, but, um... Forget how to measure while uh, holding uh, something. Q, and then you just use your mouse. Ro- uh, okay, left, so left I'm left. going to move move my uh, incarnation 30 feet. Yep. And as a bonus action, I will spend 15 feet of my movement, and uh, boom, that's now the real throb as I no. switch places. No, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's freaking sick. <laughs> is um, this, um, Arcane, or, um... Echo Knight. Oh, is this, uh, custom, or is this... Uh, Explorer's Guide to Build Oh, okay. Uh, and then I shall, um, move, uh, the, what, four feet it takes, and I will start wailing on that bad boy. Okay. Roll to attack. Um, uh, First attack, uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Uh, 11 slashing damage. Okay. And second attack, 22 to hit. (laughs) That hits. For 12 slashing damage. Oh man, this thing is, this thing is not feeling good right now. Okay. And what else you got? You got bonus action? Uh, that was my bonus action to teleport. Okay. That is my turn. That is your turn. So it is their turn. So I'm actually, I'm going to give you an opportunity attack here because uh, this thing is moving up and away from you. So go ahead and make your opportunity attack. 
Uh, 25 to hit. Jesus. Just always man. increasing. Okay. For another <laughs> 11 slashing damage. <laughs> oh, okay. Phew. He's still up, but not very. So he is up. He's 20 feet up into where the ceiling is at. And this one to your left here is going to make two more attacks against you, Chelsea. Here's his tentacle. Come on, let's get something good here. So plus four, 17. <laughs> Damn it. And here is its beak. <laughs> Come on. Yes, there we go. So the beak is uh, 2d4 plus two. So 2d4. So add two to this. So nine damage as this thing sit, tries to get you with the tentacles. You dodge out of the way, but just as you do, you kind of stumble into a barrel, leave your back exposed, and it just sinks into your back and takes a big chunk out of you. And uh. this one over here is going to move over to um, Vanus. Venice, you are going to be attacked with a tentacle attack here, which is a, come on, that's a nine, <laughs> and here's the beak. All right, 15? Uh, just misses. Oh, hey. crap. All right, it, it is now uh, Vanice's turn. Okay. Um... I'm going to attack the growl. Okay. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay. Four. Eight damage. Okay. And then I'm going to bonus action uh, offhand. 19. It definitely hits. Okay. Four. Two damage. Oh, nice. Hey. And these are short, here. short swords? <laughs> yeah, both short swords. Yeah, you're just... It comes to attack you, and now you're just swinging away trying to get this thing off of you. Anything else? Um... Nope, can't sneak attack this turn, so I am done. Okay. And... Chelsea. What are you doing, Ashley? All right, so... I'm going to try Burning Hands again. What's the re uh, reach on that thing? It is a 15-foot that... cone. Okay, good. Okay. So, my guy, you can only hit the one to your left. The other one to the north of you is 20 feet up. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Uh, He's out of your way. You could... Uh, cast spiritual weapon and then make an attack with your crossbow or a cantrip. I like that. Let's go with spiritual weapon. That, well, that sounds like a cool one. Okay. Um, if you summon a uh, spirit, uh, whatever weapon you want, yeah. it is a melee weapon that floats around and hit things for you. You can make this weapon whatever you want. A so, giant lollipop. No, we're not doing <laughs> We're not doing jester. <laughs> <laughs> what, it, what, right. what would you how about how about um stranded kittens <laughs> yeah that's at this point <laughs> you you have a, you're very cold stranded kittens cat that's where are you yeah. so, so where are you putting this thing um i'm gonna hit the one closest to me with the spiritual weapon. Okay, so you're gonna put it. So what? Spiritual weapon kind of just stands there, and then it makes. Okay. So you just put it somewhere, and then it rolls to attack. All right. Okay. All right. There is your spiritual cat <laughs> weapon. <laughs> I like it. There you go. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thirteen to hit. Thirteen does hit. Uh, click on the spiritual weapon at the uh, bottom of the uh, attack roll. Five damage. All right, not too bad. So this cat who's just floating around, just with his <laughs> paw, whoosh, hits it. Five damage. <laughs> and okay. uh, you can now cast a cantrip or make an attack with your crossbow. Yeah, I'm going to attack with the crossbow. Do, the, so you have the one on the ground near mm -hmm. you. 
Yep, I want to hit the... The one in the, in the ceiling. That's pretty hurt. I'll go for the one in the ceiling. Okay, roll to attack. All right. Uh, That's a hit. It's a hit. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. These things roll, rolled for damage. So you're just gonna click on that light crossbow. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There you go. Nine. That's enough to do it. And yes. this crossbow goes right through the brain, and it just comes straight down, or the the growl falls straight down, and just splats on the ground. And that one is no more. So, I'm gonna put that in that. Boom. All right. Okay. And that would be your turn, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, Throb, you're up. All right. Uh, Throb is going to. Would you kindly uh, make a clone of a uh, of Throb, please? Of course. I think if you can control C and then control V. And I, uh, I tried, I couldn't. Alright, go for it. Um, Throb is going to create uh, an incarnation over here. Okay. Yes, yeah, and um, then uh, run over to help the rogue. Mm. Just go like, right, right there. And uh, I will uh, make uh, one attack at the... Um, words are hard. I'll make one attack at the one by uh, Chelsea. Okay. Gods, uh, character sheets are hard to look through. Uh, <laughs> uh, 24 to hit. That hits. Damn. And I shall, uh, for, for nine damage, and I'll make one attack at the one right next to me. Okay, so that is boom. All right, roll that one. 11. You have to miss sometime. Yeah, that's, a, yeah. that's actually a miss. <laughs> Wow. Oh, we, we, we've done it. We've done it once. Uh, now you know how I feel. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, that is my turn. Okay. That is your turn, and that would be the Grell. All right. The Grell is going to... He looks over, and I'm actually... I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll a four-sided. Four Odd is Throv. Even is... Um, Venice. So here we go. Who's he gonna? And Venice. So he's going. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he's coming for you. Here is his tentacle. Come on, I gotta hit him. Oh, natural one. <laughs> oh, horrible. <laughs> All right, come on. Out of my. There we go. There we go. All right, so that's. Oh, uh, that hit. Yeah, but the beak is the weak part. I mean, that's. Oh, thank. I want the tentacle. <laughs> All right, so that is seven points of damage as he slices into you with his beak. All right, the one by And I will uncanny dodge to do half that. damage. Right. So three. Three. Yeah. Okay, same with this one. Even is going to be Throv, Odd, Chelsea, and Chelsea. So, Chelsea, you are going to get the tentacle. I you thought, did you say even was Throv? Evens Throv. Or, oh yeah, that's right. Throv. 16 plus 4, that's 20. Is that hit? Uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, hey, my incarnation's gone. <laughs> Wait, that's your incarnation? I thought. That's my incarnation down there. So... I ran up to attack the one with a. Mwahaha! <laughs> right. right. Son of a bitch. Alright, so get rid of that. Alright, but then he turns around and he's like, what the hell was that? Then he's gonna actually attack for the second attack in this. Of course. Of course he's gonna. All right, Venice, you're up. Uh, clones upon clones. <laughs> Screw your clones. <laughs> All right. Okay, first short sword attack. 22. 22 hits. Okay. The six plus ten damage. Plus the sneak attack damage is Ooh. 19 sneak attack damage. <laughs> Damn. Um, all right. 29 damage. Ooh, that's what we love to see. <laughs> is he still alive? <laughs> he is barely alive. Barely. Okay, and we'll do the offhand short sword. Attack is 24. Yeah. Damage is 
three. That's it. That's all you needed. He had one hit. All right. <laughs> and you, he comes over and he was going to, he starts to attack and then he gets distracted by Throv and you come in with your short sword and how do you get rid of this grow? All right. I'm going to, uh, one of the short swords is going to go up and cut the tentacles off as they lunge for me and as he, uh, Screams in agony. I'm gonna plunge the last short sword down his beak. Yo, and as you do, this key, this yellow key, falls to the ground by your feet. And that would be uh, Chelsea. You're up. All you right. Have, you have a spiritual weapon that you can roll to attack here. You can do that first. Yes, I will do that. That, that hits. Roll for damage. Twelve. All right. And now you can attack. Do you like crossbow? Okay, fourteen hits. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> Roll for damage. Three. Okay. All right, and you have. A bonus action, I believe, still. So, a spiritual weapon oh, to attack is a bonus that, action. Okay, so that's your bonus action. That's your action. You are done unless you want to move. No, I'm gonna because he's still alive, correct? So I'm gonna. Yeah, he's still alive. I'm gonna okay. stay there. All right, Throff, you're up. What are you doing? This key just fell right. right in between both of you. This yellow key. Um, is it a free action to pick up that key? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a free action. I um Throv is gonna scoop that key up yep. and um I guess like a plebeian I'll run over and attack uh this one down here by my by my, you know, yep. own skin. <laughs> Are you gonna use your legs to get over there? <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. Um twenty-four to hit. Do you roll anything under twenty? Alright, yeah. Uh you know uh, eleven slashing damage. Yes. All right, and um, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to make an attempt. I'm going to attempt to bite him. This is not a great attack. You're gonna bite him? Oh yeah, yeah you're twenty-one you're to hit. You're all twenty on a bite. That my guys, that's, that's their main attack is a bite, and I don't even roll twenty. All right, go ahead. Four. You've been practicing. Yeah. Uh, four points of damage. So, so you. Describe what what did you just do here? Did you so, kill him with biting him? No, he didn't. He didn't kill him, but I think he just that would bit be into a brain. <laughs> uh, so, um, Throveth runs over, spins the scimitar over his head, slashes down, and then like at that bit where he sees the slashing, like he gets overcome with hunger and like just reaches over and bites down on it. And this thing tastes salty, and it's very mis- uh, mucusy a little bit around the brain, um, dirt, and all this thing from just being in the dungeon too long. And you bite right into it, and like pus kind of explodes into your mouth. Very nice, Yum. yeah, yummy. And uh, guess what? I have another scimitar attack. Oh Jesus! Right, <laughs> Ooh, sixteen. Mm. Yeah, that hits. Eight slashing damage? Yes. And how do you dispense of this last growl here? Um, so like, throw it by its down, expecting something decent, and like, almost immediately spits it out, uh, after biting down on it, yeah, and then just, then just raises, uh, his scimitar and stabs it down it deep into that bite wound. Yeah, and this thing kind of like, the tentacles were moving around, and all of a sudden it just like falls to the ground, like dreadlocks, uh, as his brain just falls limp onto the ground. And blood just starts pooling about it. And you guys are all out of initiative here. You took care of my grill. And I'm gonna throw a picture into the Discord of the grill. All right, upload it. And this was from the module. Oh, I bit go. into that. <laughs> <laughs> bit into. All right. Mm. So, what are you guys doing? You are all out of initiative. So, 
what does that key do? Uh, I am a don't really know, but it looks. I think we need it. Uh, there's some other mind flares, I believe. Elves. They were looking for these keys, and uh, we should have them instead. They're bad people. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm a uh, Throveth. You got a little uh, something right there, and he points to his uh, his mouth. <laughs> oh, um, uh, uh, you see a tongue, his tongue, like flick out and lick it back up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and did a little. <laughs> yeah. So, Nothing like a race that likes to be a cannibal. <laughs> so. Chelsea, your spiritual weapon of your cat meows and, and disappears. Oh, right. again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you guys doing? You just, there's this new person here. I introduced myself. <laughs> there's also some dead barrels there. There's a dead, dead fighter in the middle of the uh, floor and um, what would be maybe like a wizard that its body is just mutilated. Mana starts picking their pockets for anything yeah. valuable. Yeah. Okay. Yo, that dead fighter might have good stuff. Okay. Yo, fight, yo, fighter gets dibs, fighter gets dibs on okay. fighter. Everybody roll me an investigation. Okay. Oh, Ashley with a natural 20. Uh, she, gets, <laughs> she gets first dibs. Oh, I got a 19. Right. I got an 18. Dang it. So even specialized. <laughs> Ashley, you find <laughs> in, plus zero. <laughs> in the barrels, you find a pretty sick looking mace. Um and as you it's weighted right and at the very tip is looks to be some type of religious symbol. Um you're not really sure what it is, but as you it's it's Roll me an Arcana check when you get, when you get a chance. Um, oh, mm. two. No. <laughs> no, this thing is definitely not magical. Not at all. <laughs> uh, so, that, but you find that sick looking mace um, there. So who had the next highest? I think it was the 19, which is uh, Vanus, mm -hmm. right? Vanus. Vanus, yep. you are gold hungry. So you can roll me a 1d100 again for some gold. Oh, and don't fail me dice. One. 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 <laughs> one. Seventeen. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you find seventeen gold in a ring. Alright. Yep. And you can roll me an arcana check if you want. Natural twenty. Yeah, this ring isn't magical in the slide. <laughs> a six. Uh, yeah, this is it looks to be just a regular ring. <laughs> okay. I'll pocket it anyway, just cause why not? All right, throb. Yo, magic stuff. Who needs that? <laughs> you rolled it. I got an ring. You, you have an 18, so you can roll me a 1d50, please, and that'll be your gold that you find. A 13 gold. <laughs> 13 gold, and <laughs> and you find um, what seems to be a dagger. It it's very well made, um, and it was on the wizard, and it's a plus one dagger. A a plus yeah. one dagger, yeah. your, cool. Your mace that you have is a plus one mace as well. So, if you want to put it in there. But there's also um, a magical property. Maybe. Maybe not. To the mace or to the dagger? Not to the dagger. Dagger is uh, just a plus one. Um, it's magical because it's a plus one, but it's just, that's all it is. Alright, um... Uh... Uh, Throveth will give out a whistle and get um, Vanus's attention. Uh, here, catch. And he'll toss the dagger at him. Ooh, shiny. Alright. So, I am going to move... Sorry, what is this dagger? I, I spaced out for a second. It's a plus one. Plus one dagger. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay. So ah, got it. Okay. Yep. So can't, there's my a, Echo Knight can't pick up a torch. There's a green key and a yellow key. That's all you know. And uh, we have the yellow key. Do we have the green key? Uh, Og has it. He <laughs> so, so no. we did. We did have both keys. Yeah. But <laughs> he has it now. Um. Uh, well, I guess. Um. Well, uh, 
time to go uh, exploring then. Um, uh, Vanus, do you mind if I keep my hand on your shoulder? I can't see you when I'm scouting. Okay. Kind of creepy, but okay. Okay. So. All right. And then I will blind and deafen myself as I send out good old, good old Echo, Echo Boy. All right. And where are you head? Um, we're going three spaces north. Okay. You can go one space to the north, and then you hit a wall to your north, and it's open to the east. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so, going to erase that. So, like, so I go there, then it opens up to the east. Two spaces up from the intersection, or one space up from the inter uh, intersection? One, one space. Okay. No, I'm sorry, it opens to the west, not to the east. There's a wall, so there's a wall to your north, and there's a wall to your east, but opens to the west. I don't know how to erase. It's all good. Just it's it's fine. We'll 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 just roll with it. Yeah, just roll. With okay. It. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna do that. Um. All right. Then uh, Throvis is gonna move uh two spaces or three spaces west. Okay. So you move three spaces west. One, two, three, and there's a wall to your north and a wall to your south. Open east, open west. Alright, I will move another three spaces west. One, two, three. You are distracted from what you're doing when a howl goes up from the northern end of the maze, accompanied by a bright burst of flame. The howling slowly dies down as a flame-tinged figure is pulled out of sight behind an obscured wall. And how far away is that? It's actually more to your northwest. It's one, two, three bit to the west and 10, 22 squares up. You saw it. So it's pretty much 10. So like at, I don't know if you're on our map. Yeah, I'll get there right now. So 30, one, two, three. So like there? Two, yeah, like right, right, right around there. Yeah, right around there. Yep. Uh oh. Okay. Yep. Well, so, scouting mission continues. <laughs> All right. So where, where this going? is how this thing works. Yep. Uh, another, let's go four west this time. Okay. Let's go four west. You got. Actually, you can go one, two, three west, and then you hit a wall to your west. Now. This is different because normally you can't see the walls, but this wall is visible. And, uh, all right, uh, north three spaces. Okay. So, as you round the visible corner, you can see an obscure chamber within the maze. And you find yourself face to face with a gargantuan lizard with reddish Ooh. scales in bright red underside. Flames lick out of its mouth from around its massive fangs. On the floor before you are charred remains of some unfortunate dungeon dweller, its bones half chewed and broken from the lizard's feeding. All right, this fire lizard is awake and you have interrupted its feeding on a lone hapless gibberling that was gated in about an hour ago. It is angered at being interrupted. Yo, I think I think my one HP guy can handle this. He's got this. <laughs> I think. Hold on. If, I, if I'm doing the calculations correctly, this is like V seven, I believe, of of a uh, Throveth Echo. <laughs> so you can put your you can put your Throb there. <laughs> you can put all your characters. What is my purpose? You scout. You scout and die. <laughs> oh my god. You scout and I fully could- Yo, I can move you a thousand feet and I can cause you to fly. But you have- If someone breathes on you wrong. Yeah. Let's Yo, a win. peasant- A peasant deck you. Like a, the average peasant. And if they hit you, you go gone. He is down for the count. Alright. So, let's put- Alright, you should be alright. 
Okay? So this is what you see. This giant lizard, he's been feasting on these bodies down below. All right, I think he sees everybody, so my boy's gonna roll initiative here. Bring up. I mean, it's it's only Echo. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're you're around the corner right now. So. Yeah. Innate, beautiful, of course. All right. Oh yeah, we should roll initiative, huh? Hmm. Yeah, roll for <laughs> initiative, everybody. Ooh, sixteen. Uh, fourteen. All right. Um, seven. <laughs> All right. Vanus, my fire lizard, and then Chelsea. All right, Throff, you're up. What are you doing? Hmm. Well. You know, how, how, how big this room? Oh, this room, this room pretty big, not gonna lie to you, Chief. Yep. Uh, well, uh, I will send, um, mini, mini throw of if, uh, over, like, to, oh, uh, uh, oh, hold on. Jeez, I, it does not want to move. Oh, alright, maybe, I got you. Uh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I got it, I got it. All right, I'll send Mini Throvith, so we'll go with that as a um, Throvith, whoever's. And then, uh, uh, swap places. Throvith goes back there. Uh, and then I will use my action to, uh, uh dash up. If I go, like, there, that's, four, that's 14. It's 24. That is 30, and then actual actual movement left is 15. Hey, I can get with the melee of it. Oh, man. And nothing else on my turn. Oh, all right. And... But, but I am now within melee. And Vanus, you're up. What are you doing? All right. Uh... Um, and I'll do bonus action dash to go 25 more feet, which is right here. Right. Yo, imagine not having 30 <laughs> foot distance movement. My stubby little halfling legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. and that's I am done. All right, and now it is my fire lizard, and he is pissed because he was munching here. So he is going to take, he's get three attacks, two claws, one. Does a 15 hit? Nope. Two claws and a bite. I pressed it. There it goes, try it again. There it goes. Does a 22 hit? Yes. Dang it, that hits. Yes. Four. Come on, four damage. All right, and coming out <laughs> with the bite. 19. His scratchy tongue is I licking know. you. Ah, uh, dang. 19 hits. <laughs> four. Six damage. All right. So he he bites. He claw. He he swipes at you. You dodge the second claw breaks against your side and then he comes in with a bite all right and then it, yo i'm almost back to the health i had at the start of the session guys <laughs> yeah it is chelsea you're up all right so i'm also how many spaces am i allowed to move probably 30 uh, yeah, you're more likely 30 for a human 30 um if you yeah. if you dash you can get like all the way down to here, way past, way down there. Mm. Okay. Uh, so do you want to use your action and dash all the way down there? Yeah, yeah. So a dash well, makes you would... just double your movement speed. You're pretty much running, so you can mm -hmm. double gotcha. your movement speed, and that's your action. Yeah, and I, uh, okay. I move you all the... Hold on, let me just... De delete that and uh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, and that would be your action, but you still have a bonus action. Okay, um, oh, I mean, I'm probably gonna try to move as close as I can there, so... Am I allowed to move any further, or no? No, that's your movement, so you, if you have any bonus actions, you can use that, but if not, that's it. No, I'm good then. Okay, so... At the end of the round, he's going to use a layer action here, and he's going to use a fiery explosion, and he sees, um, hmm, he sees Chelsea. He's going to use a fire explosion against you. Here it goes right here. Does a 15 hit? No. So this fire erupts around you, and you block it just in time as the fire around you erupts. But that's his turn. That's his layer action. So it is back to Throff. You're up. All right. Well, uh, Throff is, um, uh, you know, a little annoyed that this guy is trying to attack him. So I show. Uh, well, you, you ran up to him. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have He's just eating his lunch. lunch. <laughs> I just used all of my abilities to it. run up to him with a. D weapon out. I don't see what the what the big <laughs> issue is. Alright, um, one attack with my scimitar. Natural 20. Get out of here, man. Holy <laughs> yes, that hits. Uh, 13 damage. Damn. Really? Alright. Next attack. 23 to hit. Oh, gee, yes. 11 slashing damage. Uh. You're, you're rolling fantastic this, this um, session. Uh, ignore this damage, but I need to roll for the, as a bonus action, I'll make another attack. Natural one. There you go. That's called karma. <laughs> All right, that misses. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> Perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> all right. Is that, that's your turn, right? Uh, yes, that is my turn. Okay, go ahead, Vanis. What are you doing? Uh, okay, I, he is within movement, so I'm just gonna run my stubby little legs over to him. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I'm just going to attack. Uh, okay, 13 plus 7, 20. Alright, that hits. Okay, and that is... Short sword does six plus four ten damage, and sneak attack damage is damn twenty, so thirty damage. Jesus, man! All right. Uh, and then the offhand short sword, uh, thirteen plus seven again. Nice. Four twenty six damage. Wow. Damn. Nice. Okay. Is that thirty six <laughs> damage? That was like Oh, yeah. Jesus. All right, he's pissed at you, man. So, so he's gonna <laughs> no, do. Pay no, pay, pay no mind to the. Right, he's gonna do a little half yeah, yeah, pay no mind to him. <laughs> he's gonna take two claw attacks at you right here. Oh, come on, a natural one, and attack. And then he's going to use his fire breath on both of you two, which is a sixteen. Does sixteen hit any of you? Um. Just hit misses. Yeah. Alright, hits you. Alright. So, hits a 411, and you get to roll me a dexterity saving throw Ooh. 14 or higher to half that. Okay. Dex save. Ooh, plus 7. Uh, 23. Alright, so you have that to just 5. Okay, I'm gonna have that again to 2. <laughs> Jesus! All right. Damn, man. All right, Chelsea, you're up. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm going to move uh, closer. Okay, go right ahead. You can move 30 feet, so I think... 30... I think here? Yeah, I think so. Oh, actually, you can move 30, yeah. where? You have plenty. Yeah, you got plenty. 30 feet. Okay. Yeah. You're right there. Go for it. <laughs> you can be... You can just leave the room. I don't know if I want to step yeah. on a dead body. <laughs> yep. There. Uh, maybe here. Okay. Just a, uh, just surrounded by bodies. Yeah. It's, it's, it's called luck. Uh, uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna attack also. Alright. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use the my mace. Alright. Possible. Okay. Of course. Uh, uh 14? That that hits. 14, yeah. That hits. Nice. Seven. Alright. And you have a bonus action here if you want. I think that's I think that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. so, Maybe not. Yeah. So after your turn here, what you should really do is look at your character sheet for anything that says yep. bonus action, right? Because you have a movement, an action, and a bonus action. So you want to make sure that okay. you you know which ones you can so you can maximize your turn. All right, but so yeah, that makes sense. So this time he's going to use a fire explosion here. It's range is 200 feet, so this thing's going to take all three of you guys. Does a natural one? I am rolling garbage. <laughs> Yo, it's <laughs> all three of us, huh? Is that what you said? No, he, it, it, it was in another layer of this dungeon. That's where that. Happened. <laughs> All right, Throv, you're up. This vacation home. Yeah, no kidding. Yo, yo, uh, yo, Throv is uh, looking at this, you know, really just very powerful creature, and uh, yeah, let's really. go make, go make some attacks. <laughs> go for it. Twenty-four to hit. Jesus, yes, that hits. Eleven slashing. Correct. Okay. Ten to hit. Yup, that does not hit. Uh, and ignore, ignore damage for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen to hit. That hits. Alright. Uh, for eight points of, uh, slashing damage. You got it. And what else you got? And, uh, that is my turn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, Vanis. What do you got? Uh, okay, and I realized, is he after me in the combat? Yes, he is. Oh, uh, the lizard? Oh, okay, yes, so, the lizard is right yeah. after me. Okay, so I actually have advantage on attacks against him. Okay. Not that I Not need that it, I don't think, but... But why not? Not that you need it. Um... Ooh, a 12? Does a 12 hit? No, 12 misses. Oh, even with the... Okay, I, I do need it! Yeah, apparently. Okay, offhand, 25. Yeah. Okay. And that's 6 damage, and the sneak attack damage is... 16. Oh man, alright. So it is, it's pretty hurt right now. Damn hurt. What else you got? Not that. Okay. All right. There we go. This is the time. He, he's not happy and he's going to <laughs> I go. got, he, he I. <laughs> Claw I believe in it, man. He got the. 13, uh, Vanus. Hit, misses everyone. And another claw. 20, 21. Ooh. That hits. Four. Yeah. Four damage. Ooh. Yep. So that, and then he's coming for his bite. Actually, actually, he's gonna go with his breath weapon. And he's gonna 15 feet wide. He's gonna take two people in. <sighs> An eight. Not good. All right. <laughs> so four damage. <laughs> That's all he can muster here. All right. What do you got? Is this directed at everyone? No, that, that four was, damage. The four damage is just to you for the claw. The fire breath would have took in Throb and you, okay. but it did not. It did not. Okay. So it is uh, Chelsea. You're up. All right. So I'm gonna use Mace again. Yeah. Go ahead. Roll to attack. Ooh. Yes, that hits for sure. Pound is sculling. <laughs> Eleven. All right, so it is that that dug into him good. Uh, part of its scale is just torn off, and you can see the underbelly of this lizard. And fire is starting to leak out of where you just ripped into it. What else you got? Uh, I think that's it. I think you... that's it. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna use its layer action here, and it's going after. You, Chelsea, does a... No, no, it does not. A four. <laughs> Yo, big, a big rip four. to this lizard. Oh. Uh. 
Okay. Was this fire lizard like exiled from his family or something? You, just being yeah. terrible at being I a fire got, lizard. If you add up all of my dice rolls, I think I've rolled ninety percent <laughs> under ten. Yeah, I, I I believe that. Yeah, it's it's not a good day for me. Okay. Yo, yo, not even. Don't even think about that. Think of. Don't think about the lizard. Think about all the dead bodies. Like, there's so many of these guys, and they I mean, failed they to kill this fool. They, well, they deserve to die. You, you caught him after lunch, you know. <laughs> That's true. You know, he's he, resting he's and already, digesting he's already, right now. Yeah, he's stuffed. He's tired. Um, <laughs> it is your turn, Thrall. Someone broke into my house after I started eating yeah. Taco Bell. I, I can, mm -hmm. I can sympathize with the lizard. Definitely with all the. Yeah, that's where the fire comes from. Oh, <laughs> Thrall, you're up. Oh, which it, end is this fire coming out? I don't think both, you both, both ends. <laughs> both ends. <laughs> <laughs> um uh words are hard um what are we uh throv yeah yeah Th throv he's he's a person he got he got abilities and by that i mean he got he got a sim he got a double bladed scimitar yo 26 to hit yes 26 <laughs> hits okay so you either miss or you get above a 20 is that yeah, how it exactly. works uh dude that's a that's a dirty 20 yeah that hits and uh, hold on, ignore this damage. Ooh, does it 11 hit? No. Okay, so a total of 18 damage. All right. Magical slashing. How do you want to do it? All right, so uh, Throveth is just really feeling bad for this yeah. for this person, and is just going to like as it like uh, breathes out another fire. Um, Throveth just stabs his um, his double scimitar into the roof of its mouth, grabs the it grabs the top of his mouth and slams it shut. Oh man. And and as you do that, fire starts to billow in its mouth and its eyes start to glow red and its face starts to get redder and redder and redder until it just blows up into a like just explodes and its head is just falls li or headless onto the ground as fire starts to trickle out of its body and then slowly dissipates. And all of the fire around you starts to slowly die out. And now, what are you guys gonna do? Uh, obviously I'm going to search these poor souls for any- <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, I have a- <laughs> Um, Vanist, can I borrow that dagger for- a uh, little while. Sure. And uh, toss the dagger over to Van. Uh, I would. Uh, drop. Right. I would like to. Um, okay. Uh, it, does this count as a um, uh, a slain beast or dragon? Not a dragon. He's a lizard. But um, okay, slain yeah. beast. All right. I would like to use my dagger and create a shield. I would like to ask us to, for us to short rest so I can create a shield of this guy's skin. Yeah, um, I, there's not going to be any short rest going on in this dungeon. Oh, boo. Yeah, oh, I know I'm sorry. <laughs> and, but spe things specifically say it's I need to do it as a short rest, but I can craft things from dead creatures yeah, um, all of Monster There's on. no no short rest. There's going to be random <laughs> encounters. What happens is the Mad Mage, if anybody stands still too long, he, there's he's teleporting things in. Mm, got it. Yeah. So you can just drag the lizard along with us. Yeah, you can cut off a piece of it. <laughs> drag him behind you. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yo, his so. tail. His tail will make good snacks. Okay. I'll bring it with me. Roll me investigation. <laughs> you you me. Look around. Roll me investigation. All right. I'll roll that sweet investigation. Yo, natural one. Can we go for it? Nope. Twelve. <laughs> Yo, if only I could roll this good in the real campaign. 23, okay. So, you see, um, so there was a blue key, you see a green key was in the belly of this beast as you were ripping it open. You see a green key, like it swallowed it. So that's a what you find. Um, more keys! What did, Vanus, what did you, what did you roll? I got 12. A 12. All right, you can roll me a 1d50 for gold, and Ashley, you just get eight gold. I'll just give you eight gold. Okay. How do you roll a d50 and beyond? No clue. Uh, you could roll a d100 and have it. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, of course. Got it. So 32. Alright. Alright. And I think that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Don't worry, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. Jesus, all my